Today we're going to talk about the AZSMZ LCD for the Arduino Dua with ramps being the smart ramps. So I'm going to talk about a couple of quick things here so that you can see what they are. On the smart ramps, we have an auxiliary two set of pins and an auxiliary three set of pins. In a moment, I'll show you the backside of the LCD and what we need to know. Okay, this is the backside of the LCD. As you can see, there's an auxiliary three port here and an auxiliary two port here. We also have a SD card reader here, and then we have a piezo buzzer. So in a moment, I'll show you how to hook it up. Okay, now to connect this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the red strip for auxiliary two on the right hand side. We're gonna flip over the LCD, and we're gonna connect the notch connector to auxiliary two on the LCD. Then we're gonna repeat this for auxiliary three and the notch connector for auxiliary three as well. Now I'm gonna flip this over and connect the serial USB connection to the board. Now the small end goes to the programming port on the Arduino Duo underneath the smart ramps board and then when I connect the USB, you're gonna hear a beep on the computer. And keep in mind after it's connected, you don't wanna to touch your board because you don't wanna damage it electrically. And in a moment, I'll show you how to load the Marlin firmware. Okay, we're in the folder for the Marlin bug fix 2.0.x. This is an experimental firmware for the smart ramps board on the Adreno Dua. So we're gonna open this up. We're then gonna to go to the Marlin subfolder. Then we're gonna open up the source folder. And we're gonna to go to the core folder. And what we're looking for is boards, or sometimes called boards.h. It's a header file that contains all the information for which boards that can be used with the Marlin firmware. So we're gonna open this up. And I've already highlighted right here, boards underscore ramps underscore smart underscore EFB for extruder fan bed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna close out of the boards.h file. We're gonna go back a directory, then another directory, and we're gonna open up the Marlin solution file for the Arduino IDE. Now we're gonna go to the configuration.h tab and we're gonna do a search on motherboard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore EFB with what we copied from the previous boards file and paste it here. And now we have boards underscore ramps underscore smart underscore EFB. Next thing we wanna do is search on the LCD type that we're using, which is the AZSMZ. And what we wanna do, because we're using this one and it's commented out, we have to remove the comment by pressing the backspace twice to take out the slashes. And then there's one last thing that we need to search on. Because we're using this board, we need to search on the library file So we're gonna do a search on U8, and here it is. This we need to download in order to install our firmware for the smart ramps. So we need to install it. So what I've done is I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna show you the steps to install it, which I've already done myself. So you're gonna to go to include library under sketch. You're gonna do add zip library. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to map to where it is. And here's the file. So it's U8 graphical lib 
for the Adreno. So we're going to open that up, and on my computer it's going to say that I already have it installed, but for you, it may not. So this will help you avoid an error. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the right COM port selected, which we do. It's the Arduino DUA programming port. And then we have the Arduino DUA programming port for the board type. So all we need to do is press the Compile and Upload button. And in a moment, I'll show you how to test it by turning it on. Okay, now that uh, we've completed the firmware upload, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it boots after reconnecting the USB connection. And as you can see, it's booting with the Marlin default screen, and now it has what would be for the default X, Y, and Z if we have them connected. And then we have our knob here to do, obviously, navigation. And then we have our stop and reset button here. So this is what it looks like inside for the info screen. And we can move down to motion, temperature, and configuration. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.